SDS Aaron Cohn E Day in a computer dot com ultra video party oi a very strange problemo as you can see on screen. You notice anything strange about my website anetcomputers.com? <laughs> it's the bizarre colors. It's supposed to be blue and gold. Obviously they're not blue and gold. My encoder, OBS Studio, is having a problemo. I've used OBS Studio for years now, exclusively recording videos for YouTube and other websites which I will not name. On, I would say, two or three computers. Then I tried to install it on my laptop. It's a Hewlett Packard, I think it's a dual core. It's an X360. It may be the graphics card, I'm not sure. I've never seen this problem. It's a quick, easy fix and I will show you. It doesn't matter if, it, if I'm screen capturing the desktop or the webcam or the web browser or both. It does not matter. The colors are not correct. You know what I'm saying? So it's an easy fix. Let me demonstrate. Let me transition. Now, that before that, let me find it again. And I... Th let's see. Okay, let me... Okay, this should this should fix it. All right, so now let me transition and I will demonstrate via the desktop what you need to do. So you want to go into the sources and you want to click possibly, I'm not sure if it really matters, I just learned on clicking on my web browser. So you highlight one of your sources. I'm gonna highlight the Mozilla Firefox web browser because that is what I am screen capturing as well as my my video camera but you know what I'm saying click on the gear right down below it and then it will show you that it's the properties go into the properties for the source then you're gonna see this window you don't need to change anything else here except for click on swap red and blue now by default it was not turned on and I've never had this problem before I've used OBS Studio on at least two other computers, if not three. But, but especially this one computer to my left that I've been making videos with for about four years now. You know what I'm saying? Three or four years. All right. So turn on swap red and blue. Place a check box there. Click in that box so that there's a check. Then click OK. And you notice... It got fixed, but th there's something. Th anyways, there's another problem. So let me see if I can now. I think I'm going to have to close Firefox because now. All right, so let me close Firefox. And let's see if I can get it with a different web browser. And I'm going to browse to my website. And quickly, I'm going to show you that I fixed it. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so. All right, so there's my website and web browser camera. It, it, uh, it's not capturing my web browser now. I'm not sure what the problem is. So that should show you my web browser, but it's not. Let me see if I can open up Mozilla Firefox and see if it captures that now. Now, neither of the web browsers are being captured. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to change a thing. But let me show you again. Go into properties of a source. Okay. And then make sure that the swap red and blue is turned on and then click OK and then transition but it's not it, there's something another problem what I'm gonna do is I showed you how to do it I'm going I have to close this stupid encoder it's this piece of shit Linux laptop there's something wrong with 
the Linux distribution on this Hewlett Packard. I've been, I haven't been able to figure it out. It works real flaky. It may be because I'm using a USB flash drive as the hard drive. That may be part of it, but this desktop, I don't have these kind of problems. Anyways, I'm going to end the video now because I have to exit OBS Studio. I'm going to reopen OBS Studio and I'm going to record another video and I'm just going to show you straight off that it worked and I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm going to have to concatenate both of these videos together. I'll be back. I'm back. As you can see, I'm obviously on camera. Now, if you notice, there is no problem with the color. So what you do is you go into the sources and then make sure that you pick a source and then to fix it. Then click into the, the, okay, the properties. But it seems like it's, it's, it also affects the camera too. So what I, what I had to do is I had to go into a web browser and, and then click on the source and then turn on swap red and blue. So as you can see, it's fixed. And you know what? I can turn, uh, let me see if I can demonstrate it this way. And then I also need to turn it off here. And I'll turn it back off. So you're going to turn on swap red and blue. And I already showed you that. Then go back here and then transition. And you, not you notice it? Did you notice when I transition? The, the colors isn't working correctly. And so there's something weird going on here. You know what I'm saying? So that is how you fix discoloration with OBS Studio. And now my camera just quit working. So this is a this is a disaster. I'm still testing, but one of the problems I had to fix was let me just shut off. I don't know what happened to my USB camera. This is overtime. I already showed you how to fix the problem. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why the camera now does not work. You know what I'm saying? I can turn on my integrated camera and I can see myself. See? If I turn on the integrated camera, which I don't like to use, but see? That that camera works now and you notice how the 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 issue, but now my USB camera just fucking took a, a shit. I don't know how to get it back. I could disk connect it and reconnect it. Oh, it, it's turned off. It, the light's not even on. So I don't, I don't know what the fuck's going on. It could be a piece of shit Linux distribution. It could be MX Linux is a fucking pile of shit. It could be the laptop hardware, the video graphics. But I showed you how to fix that problem with the discoloration. You know what I'm saying? Adios.